Hello again, it's Dave from Chaos, and I'm back to do another Varus version update. I'm going to be covering Varus 2.3, 2.4, and then the big one, 3.0. Okay, so I'm here in the Varus web app, and the first thing that you'll notice from 2.3 is the updated UI. We've taken the time to recolor and rebrand to be a little bit more in line with the other Chaos apps, and it was a nice refresh. But as far as features, we have now the ability to do a multiple file drag and drop or upload, either one. And then uh, in addition to that, the drag and drop window is still available at all times. So even though you see something there, you can always drag and drop and that supports multiple or single files. So I can drag even more and kind of restore a session back to where I was if I'm you know, picking it up from another day. The next big feature of 2.3 was the ability to share presets. So maybe I want to share this one with the team member. I can click the little ellipsis and then share it. It'll just copy a URL to my clipboard. And then if the user that you're sharing it to is in a session, make sure that they click the little ellipsis and use the import. You can then paste it in there and you'll see. I already have this Varus 3.0 uh, preset, so it's just adding a one, but it wouldn't if they didn't have that and just clicking okay we'll add it but if they're not in an active session they can just paste it into an internet browser or follow a link it's just you kind of want to be aware of that because uh, if you were in a session in this tab it's going to reset it but otherwise kind of just pops you over here and you can import that preset all right this next feature released in 2.4 is actually exclusive to Varus through Enscape so here in the background I have Enscape open and I've launched a various window. And here in the edit tab, if I click the little down arrow, I have now the ability to select by material and I can make really big sweeping changes that way. Or uh, actually exclusive to various through Enscape, we have select by object. So here I can just make a really specific selection of maybe this rug and give it a really direct prompt and then just get some options. There you go. The other feature released in 2.4 was an enhancement to the 3D viewer. Here, I'm working through SketchUp, but this would apply to the web platform, Revit, anything that has a 3D viewer. So here, as you'll notice, the frame rate has been dramatically improved. And basically, as uh, if you have a complex object, it will just hide things that it needs to to maintain the frame rate. And then once you kind of stabilize on a view, it'll render all objects. We also have the ability to adjust the position of the sun in scene now. So if I kind of frame this up and I click this, I can control the elevation. That'll be how high the sun is in the sky and effectively kind of how blue your sky ends up being. And then I can even adjust the position of it. So here I'm swinging the sun around to just over the shoulder of my building. And maybe set it to something closer to sunset. But uh, this sun intensity, actually, by swinging around. This is how brightly the sun shines on the objects in your scene. So you can kind of control that as well. All right. And finally, for Varus 3.0, we have a couple of really big features. Here I have the editable mask. And uh, I can go ahead and start masking something up. So this is something I normally take a lot of time with. Um, but now we can edit this. So once I've finished my selection, just hit the OK, and I can grab this, move it all uh, as a unit. I can grab an edge and pull it, or even grab like the little corners and reposition those. So really the pressure's off to get it perfect the first time, and you can reposition this mask to exactly where it needs to be. Then the final feature, the one I've been showing on screen this entire video but never addressed is video. So here I have a few examples from playing around with it. And in this scene, I'm just kind of describing that I want this wood panel to uh, slide out from the left and we can get some pretty good results. Or here, I just kept it simple and did a little camera rotation. Across these examples. And then here, I started to play with the time of day. So just describing that, I wanted it to transition from daylight to evening. 
And then I just started to play with the language here. Started to get a better, more dramatic result when I used the word midnight versus evening. And then here, I believe, yeah, this, I start to describe that the final frame should be completely dark outside. So I think the more descriptive you are on what you want that final scene to be, you'll have a better result. But one neat thing about Varus Video is that it brings human forms to life. So here, I didn't really indicate anything about what I wanted in the scene uh, for this person to be doing, but kind of just puts them in motion and makes it seem natural. Same with this person. And if I hop back to Compose, you'll see what I started with here. Here, they're just kind of stuck in place. And here he's pouring coffee or something. But Various Video is going to be a real fun thing to play with and looking forward to putting some presets together. And if you have any questions, jump into the forums and feel free to ask. But until next time, have a great day.